I want to go back to presidential power, and um, this isn't a hypothetical. I'm just going back to 2009, which isn't that long ago, um, in the University of Minnesota Law Review, and that's where you said we should not burden a sitting president with civil suits, criminal investigations, or criminal prosecutions. And when you and I talked about this yesterday, um, you said that Congress could still pursue an impeachment proceeding, right? We had that. Yes, the impeachment that mechanism. Your view back then, because you wouldn't comment on it, but your view when you wrote this was that, well, your view now is that Congress should still be able to pursue an impeachment. Well, the Constitution yeah. specifies impeachment uh, always as a tool for uh, in the Constitution itself. Okay, so when we go back to when you wrote this, it's not a hypothetical, but when you wrote this in 2009 and you were thinking about it, <clears throat> did you think then, and this is what you meant, that a president shouldn't have to be investigated? I mean, you said it, right? Well, <clears throat> the context there, uh, I believe Senator was talking about civil uh, suits or criminal investigations or mm -hmm. criminal lawsuits, and it was not my position on the constitutionality. It was something for Congress to consider, and the idea was reflecting on my experience after September 11th and what we could do to make uh, the presidency the okay. most effective for I'm, the American people. I'm trying to understand in practicality when you look at the last impeachment proceedings how you would, in effect, do this if you didn't have an investigation. Because these other ones have used independent counsel, they've used special counsel. And if you don't have that, don't you effectively eviscerate the impeachment part of the Constitution? Uh, not at all, Senator. Historically, Congress has often had investigative uh, bodies that have done the work uh, for... But why would we want to foreclose our ability to use a special counsel or an independent counsel? So that was uh, that's your decision ultimately uh, in Congress to decide. That's one view that you just articulated, and and of course Congress has not uh, enacted any special deferral for civil suits. So Congress is stuck with the Jones v. Clinton result uh, from that case, and is stuck with, of course, the. Um, uh, the the uh, existing system so of special you, counsels. To get back into where you were in 2009 when you wrote this, as opposed to just using a hypothetical. So we've said several times here, no one is above the law, and mm -hmm. I said that in my opening <coughs> statement. Um, but when you said this then, you mean no one is temporarily above the law. So if a sitting president, if she was in office and and there was some crime committed, murder, white-collar crime, everything, then you're saying in this article at the time that she shouldn't be subject to a criminal prosecution. That, that's a, that would be an uh, issue for Congress to consider if it wanted to pursue providing a temporary deferral. There, is, there are statutes that do that for members of the military, so service members serving overseas. In fact, I think President Clinton's brief in the Clinton versus Jones case cited that example as something where there is statutory protection deferral, not immunity. It's important to distinguish immunity from deferral, and not above the law, but the timing of when a particular litigation will occur. So no, I wouldn't call that above the law. I'd call that a timing question. Okay, but that would be a long time if a president was serving for four years or eight years, um, given, and again, I'm reading the words, we should not burden a sitting president with civil suits, criminal investigations, or criminal prosecutions. So feels to me that was your view when you wrote that. Well, it was an idea for Congress to consider in light of it with along with many I, other ideas I had in there about judi judicial confirmations and war powers. And it was all reflecting, again, that one was reflecting on an idea Congress could consider. The whole point was to make the, you know, help, help the country uh, do better based on my observations from three, <clears throat> five and a half years working in a White House where during war, during wartime. Okay. Um, I want to turn to another topic.